to entrance in this War Games match, getting things rolling here. However, as always, the match won't officially begin until each respective teammate has made it into the ring. Yeah, but in the meantime, that doesn't mean there's going to be a ceasefire, Cole. They may not be able to pin or submit each other to a finish right now, but I'm pretty sure the match has begun for them. Very true, Corey. Not exactly an enviable position being the first two competitors to start a match like this. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Measured stomp right to the gut. Followed up by another to the chest. string of attacks are keeping her off her game. And you know now she must rethink her... Walking the ropes, and she doesn't connect. Situation. And now she's demonstrated her whole arsenal. Yeah, she is handling her business here. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. Come on now. Is it not enough that they're already coming in with an advantage here? Is this really necessary? Meet the backside of an elbow. Looking to give her team an advantage in more ways than one. With the reversal. Oh! Oh, stomping away. Uh-oh. I don't like this idea one bit. No good reason to be climbing here. Big mistake there, Corey. But she knows that now. Into the cage now. And the numbers advantage is locked in. And momentum is fading away from her. She's been pushed into a bad spot for sure. No! Into a powerbomb. You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a powerbomb with that much force. Propelling into the table. Corey, I understand how planning to have a match like War Games can seem like an exercise in futility, but is there anything you think either of these teams, or possibly both, have in mind here? Other than winning? I'm sure both teams have talked about how to deal with the numbers disadvantage when it falls on them. Talk strategy before and after the match officially begins. A lot of big picture stuff, I'm sure. Door swings open and out they come. And their team could definitely use their help. Oh, God! And here we go. Climbing up the cage. Only bad things happen from that decision. No time for fear. Have to just get in there and engage with the enemy. She's fighting back. Bash with a punch to the gut. Brilliant countering by both competitors. Now her DDT. And she will climb the cage. Not the smartest of ideas. Straight through the heart of the table. We are through the looking glass now, people. Anything good from here on out. And that was taking the attack. This arena. Oh my gosh! She's starting to climb up the wall of the cage. Oh no, is the idea why? And as she reaches the top of the cage, she's realizing her lack of options up there. I can't walk. I can't believe the decision to check off the top of the cage. I think that was decided before ever reaching the top, Saxton. Change the landscape of this match. Vicious kicks to the jaw. Searching under the ring now. This can't be good. Putting the numbers advantage to greater heights by introducing weaponry to the battle. She's not going straight in. She wants something from under the ring. Oh, come on. You already had the 
the advantage. You didn't need to bring that into the ring, too. Sending her over to the other ring. You lot. Oh, oh, no way. Okay. Gonna be taking that dirt now. And I don't like it, but in war games, a one-sided brawl is all perfectly legal. Yeah. Ooh. Severely impaired. <laughs> New entrant about to come in and not a moment too soon. Headlock. And here we go. There's a mission to save the day and won't be stopped. Serious damage. And now they are part of the war, ready to fight for their profession.
this crowd is on their feet in full appreciation. An incredible sight to see. And what's she gonna do with this table? Set up a buffet. What do you think she's gonna do, Saxton? How's that for a Quite a show. Here's another look. Here are your winners. The Chick Madness. They fought hard for this victory and certainly earned it. A valiant effort from the losing team, but they just weren't good enough.